So previously we did this. We generated a simple uh, cube illustration here. I'm just gonna turn off this, 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 this layer. Now what if we have something that is a bit more complex? For example, this one. So this is um, um, from a three meter by three meter a cube and it's chiseled out and such okay it's a bit more complex now if I I'm going to uh, sketch this out and just turn off that layer for the meantime um, basically it's what it looks like it's going to be something like this okay so I'm just gonna do something that's a very isometric like drawing so you have your three meter by three meter. It's from based on a three meter by three meter cube. It practically has the same, so uh, uh, same sides and same edges, areas, and I don't like that. So so basically, this is what it looks like. So if we illustrate this in in hidden line form, the edges there behind. This is what we get. Um, so basically the edges are halfway, halfway, uh, points if you're going to be chiseling this out, chiseling this out. Um, so halfway of that, for example, is in the illustration, okay, halfway there, there's this triangular, um, surface. If we cut this out, I'm just going to erase this and this is what it looked like. So this is the front, for example. Okay. So here. So that's the edge of that. And that goes like that. Now, here on the bottom part, halfway there, it's going to be chiseled out from this point to that point. So a volume is carved out of that. And um, yeah, so we're going to erase that and therefore that's how it looks like. Hmm. Looks very confusing at the moment. But that's how it looks like. So if I try to do this properly with, with what in hidden line form what the other edges look like in this illustration. So that's it. Uh, basically, now if we go further with this, um, this is what it look, it, it would, I mean, okay, so, That's how it is in isometric. So we, if I color code this, uh, what are, again, following the same thing as before, um, if anything that's along the Z, you know, um, X axis is gonna be colored red, for example. These are along, so this is along X. This is along X. That would be the x negative positive um if for y example would be green along y this would be green this is along y so therefore that's along it's that would be in green and this is this edge right here this needs to be parallel so this that's going to y along y and if it's going to be uh, along z it's going to be in blue that's in blue z z and the like what about those 
odd edges where you know you just chisel them out uh, I'm gonna designate them some some very uh, color of their own for example that edge is gonna be in this cyan uh, I'm gonna choose let's say orange for this one because we're going to illustrate this in perspective and and just say that this thing here is going to be open this thing is going to be an open box again similar to what we first did with the basic cube which is one sided is open mm, so that that and then may probably I'm going to use a, a yellow here as my edge to illustrate those so this is the box it's a complicated box yeah it looks very complicated and isometric but that's the front you're looking at the front so I'm gonna turn off this layer now and I'm gonna go back to okay that was the previous to the layer of this so I'm gonna transform this um, orthographic version of of that uh, chiseled cube and I'm going to use this as my as my uh, base so I'm just going to erase the front elevation for this layer and I don't really need okay, probably I'll just I'll just keep okay so erase the front and probably just keep the left side just for reference you know illustrate the ground on a perspective illustration so there's the ground itself is, is really flat and it's not really being illustrated in perspective but this is top view okay uh before we proceed probably i'd color code though the edges anything that of the of this chiseled cube so the red anything that is along the um, x-axis so that's that top and bottom edges it's the x if y for Y edges is going to be green, so that's the Y axis, right? Here, it's perfectly in line with the Y axis along Y. So here they go on the bottom part. So those go to the Y. It's a long Y. For the Z, it's going to be blue. That edge there is this edge. Right here. Well, it's not really this is slanting so i'll color code that with something else so that we get we don't get confused here so here <clears throat> so we're gonna use these as a reference to generate our perspective again the picture plane is, is this So picture plane right there. And that's the imaginary paper or the uh, clear glass, which we're going to. Um, it's going to. Uh, be like where 
the cube or uh, anything that an element of the cube uh, is meeting this picture plane is 100% or the true uh, scaled line value of it. So, of course, I'm going to draw out the edge of the opening. So this is, we're imagining this as opening. Um, as far as the um, distance is concerned, it's about 4 meters away. So this is supposed to be 4 meters away. If I scale this, it's roughly here. So my station point is here. And we're going to project this. So before we proceed on, so let's say it's going to be like that. Now if we go back to our reference, okay, orange, okay, was used. Orange for this edge. This is the chiseled area or chiseled part. And then sort of yellow was used for the back edge. Of that chiseled area so in 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 equivalent this is the yellow edge the purple edge and this is the orange edge and then those things goes uh, these things go slanting if we take a look at the three-dimension uh, I did well, anyway, I'm just going to color these edges with something. Um, I'm going to color this with the light blue. Light blue. So where are they in, 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 in this? Uh, it's somewhere like this. So the edges of this underneath is going to be this light blue. So I'm just going to slanting out like that. And this one, this hidden line here, this edge is along Y. So therefore, it's in green. So here we are. Um, so I'm going to start with the top edge, which are along the X axis. So if you project these down, the edges here, they would look like this, and the bottom part would look like that. Where does it stop? It stops here, so therefore it's there, like here, and there. I'm going to use blue to note where the along Z axis of the part, okay, this one. I'm mainly just projecting here because it's touching the picture plane. Here's your projector line. And that's it. And then light blue for that slanted chiseled area, which is like the, it's like basically it's 45 degrees. There you go, 45 degrees from this point to that. So now it, the trickier part is how to illustrate this in, in the inside. Okay, how do you illustrate the inside part? So I'm going to put back this ruler into 90 degrees. Okay, the vanishing point is determined, again, by projecting the station point going down. And this is your horizon line because this is where the eye level of this uh, person and so this is the horizon line. Remember, um, perspective drawings follow a, a different set of rules from to, from orthographic drawings. So, for example, um, orthographic drawing you can illustrate the ground line by way of just a thicker line, whereas in perspective though, you don't actually use or draw a line for the ground line. It's that flat plane. Uh, it's not being sectioned or anything. Anyway, this is the horizon line again. So I'm just gonna... Okay. And then, so from the station point, this is the horizon line. Where they meet the station point and the horizon line, that is where your 
VP or vanishing point Y is going to be. Okay, so I'm going to illustrate these edges. Where are they? So basically, first you need to um, do a plotting. The simplest is on this side, on the left side of, of this object. So I'm just going to project uh, uh, from, from my station point as my tra trajectory and going to this edge point of the inside of the box. I'm going to illustrate a straight line and where it hits the picture plane, it needs to come down as a projection line. Okay, just, just make a light line first. So there it is. So since these this this two lines, the up and the down, are along Y, they disappear to the vanishing point Y. So I'm just going to get some green. So from here, I'm going to lightly draw a green line. But where does it stop for the for that plane here? It's because I did already a projection line of that point. This goes down, and if I illustrate it, it stops there. So the Y edge in perspective does this. And pretty much the same for the lower edge of the inside of along Y. That's it. So my blue, or the Z, is here. Now, if this is where it is, it's there. Therefore, this is your. Oh. Let me align that ruler properly. And there it is. So the inside plane. So here is a Z axis. I mean, X axis along X. But where does it stop? It actually stops right here. And another green, basically from the vanishing point to here. Is here. That's the edge. And the edge of this one, here on the elevation, here on the top view, is here. I'm just going to draw the line first, but I don't know where it stops. So therefore, you need, what you need to do is to align the station point as your trajectory point to that edge of that. Okay, see? And then project down from the picture plane. It hits the picture plane. go down it stops there so that's the line edge now the difficult part here is the triangular uh, area or surface so here I know for a fact that this is the edge behind where it does it stop it's exactly uh, um, intersecting the station point so therefore I'm just going to draw the edge, Z ed, uh, the X edge, X until here. The same thing as the bottom part, okay? They stop there. Now for, for what about um, this one on the lower, this, this point here or that point here? So it's easy enough. It's... That's the point where it stops for the for this this line. Um, it's already uh, okay. So that's the point here, also along this point. So we already have these three points actually uh, well, identified. It's it, it looks confusing at the moment. So I'm just gonna illustrate where these lines are. These these triangular edges are in 3D on the inside. So here is that purple line. 
or magenta line rather it's here that orange line is a bit tricky so it's actually this line oops that's the wrong color it has to be the orange and then the other one the yellow light light yellow would be this line the one behind. And what about these edges that connect to there? Uh, so that's another light blue line. The one that's slanting from here. And what about this one? That's a green line because it's a long Y. So I'm just going to go and choose the green standard one, which is like here. So if I'm going to shade the, um, the back plane, it would be this. So that the flat plane from the behind. So that's the plotting of in one point perspective that chiseled out uh, open box that we just did as an example anyway hopefully this is not so confusing and everyone could understand uh, and followed uh, well thank you very much for this um, for this tutorial mini tutorial on how to understand perspective plotting uh, of particularly in the one-point perspective.